you can make it look so easy. You make it look so simple. You make it look like clouds just floating through. You make it look like you can conquer any mountain. You make it look like you can do it with your eyes closed. You make it look like it's the most easiest thing on this earth to do. But people don't know you. So because they don't know you, they only see with the eye what they see. They start to have this disdain about you. They start to have this dislike for you. They, just, they start to join clicks or form clicks about you because you make everything you do look so easy and pleasing to the eye. Have you ever experienced people like this? Have you ever, ever experienced somebody that say they love you and you find out later on that this person that said that they love you is actually one of those people? Do you have people like that in your family? Do you have people like that that say that, that, you're, that they're your best friend? Or you guys have been friends for years, but only to, only to come to find out later on in life, this person was just as horrible as the people that threw darts at you because of who you are. Yeah, I understand. It's not your fault that you make things look so simple. It's not your fault that you make yourself feel good enough to do what you need to do for you. It's not your fault that what God put on the inside of you reflects on the outside of you. It's not your fault that you have these qualities. Many are called, but few are chosen. My thing is this. When you have a genuine heart, when you have a caring heart, no matter how you feel about somebody, you can love somebody to the ends of the earth. Let me rephrase that. You can love the wrong person to the ends of the earth. And they will never care for you like you care for them because they're not genuine. You guys are not on the same page. You literally are not on the same page because they're on a page and you're in a book. It's, it's, it's nobody's fault. But people make it seems like whatever you got going on in life and it looks better than theirs. They're going to blame you for everything. The majority of these people don't even know you. The people that think they know you don't even know you. They just go by word of mouth. And you know with low vibrational people, word of mouth wins. It trumps. No matter what you got, you know who you are. They don't know who you are. They think they know who you are. These are some of the things that can trigger you so bad. But until you get a handle on them, and until you get a hold of them, it can be dangerous. It could truly be dangerous because you'll be walking around wanting to fight somebody for trying to play in your face. You'll be walking around on defense mode. You'll be walking around on, on everything that'll trigger you like a bombshell. But as you grow to know who you are, those things become easier to deal with. As you journey through life from day to day, those things become, they still make you feel some kind of way. Because again, it's not your fault. It's not your fault how God created you. So you still have to be careful because when the attacks come upon you, they can really, really, really be strong. But you have to be really, 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 really strong and pray up before you even leave out your house. <laughs> this is a real thing. I didn't know how real this thing was until like my last two, three years my last two or three years, the last two or three years of my life, because the last two or three years of my life, God has allowed me to see exactly who I am. I already know who I was. I already know who I belong to, but in, in totality, in, in, in essence, in everything overall, 
He showed me who I was. People knew who I was as far as the external. They could see what I couldn't see. They knew what I didn't exactly know about me. But today I know. And I, I know that for those of you that are watching this video, I know that you can relate. I know that you understand. No, this video is not for everybody. But if this video resonates with you, I know that you understand. I know that you understand. And um, so with that being said, comment down below and let me know if these are some of the things that you have gone through. If, if people try to just, just pick you out of a crowd and decide they want to throw darts at you because you're happy. Even on your bad days, you're happy. And if it don't, if you don't feel it, it shows to other people that you're happy. We go through, chosen ones go through some of the hardest battles. We go through some of the hardest fights. We go through some of the roughest challenges. It's almost like we're being spiritually attacked almost every day. But until you get to know more of who you are and you get to know more of who God is and everything about him, even get to know who the devil is. You get to understand a lot more about you and what you go through. You know, I often, um, I'm a firm believer in this. When you wake up in the morning, you have to start working then. Because you're going to go through some things that you're going to need that prayer. You're going to need that protective shield. You're going to need those words of affirmations. You're going to need a lot to get through your day. No, you don't have to be paranoid about it. That has nothing to do with paranoia. It's all about knowing what to do before you even put your feet on the floor in the morning. Okay, so sometimes we have to go to the bathroom and we need to get there before we've been done, done it. Before we done it. And I, I know you understand what we mean. You have to use the bathroom, you get up and go. When I, you know, as crazy as this may sound, but it's real. Sometimes I can have my eyes closed when I have to use the bathroom so bad in the morning. I wake up walking across the floor saying, thank you, Jesus. Because if that's what I got to hold on to before I get to the bathroom and back to my bed to get in it, to work on my affirmations and work on my daily rituals and work on those prayers, that, that that's what I'm going to do. I don't feel, no, I don't feel crazy about it. I feel good about it because I know I have to do those things. And it's work. Sometimes I am so exhausted by the end of the day. Um... Because you have to, you, you're just aware. Well, I am. I'm just aware. And I thank God for the discernment. I thank God for the wisdom. I thank God for the knowledge. Because for lack of knowledge, you will suffer. You, If you don't know these things about you, you will, su you will purely suffer. So I encourage anybody to get to know those things that you need to do for you and for those you love. Because if the devil knows that he can't get to you, oh, he's going to find another way to come at you. He's going to come to you through, he's going to try to get at you those through those that you love, your finances, your places where you lay your head, just anything about your, your surroundings, your, your, your close people, your circle. He's going to come for those things. And you, being who you are, knowing who you are, have to protect those things. God chose us. He chose us. So when you know that, you need to, you, you know, you got to get on your game. You got to get on your grind. And Lord knows it feels like a whole grind. It's a whole job. Would I take anything for it? No, I wouldn't take a thing in the world for it. Um, am I exhausted a lot? I am absolutely exhausted. But you will never know that unless I told you. People will never know that you're exhausted unless you told them because you do what you do so well. But just know this, through everything that you are going through, being a chosen one, God is with you. He knew you before you knew you. 
He knew you when you was in your mother's womb. Nobody knows you like him. So he's not going to leave you out here all by your lonesome. He's a whole big, entire, amazing, loving father. If you're all the way across the nations, guess what? He's all across the nations with you. He sends his angels before you. He's got you. But you need to get to know who you are. So you can have the people around you, that protection. You're going to need it. Thank you for tuning in to watch this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, thank you for this. Thank you for everything. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to comment. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget. Slow progress is still progress. I love you.